It's kind of hard to grow your business if you don't know what's working already and Google Analytics will tell you exactly that. So in this updated video, I'll be showing you how to connect the new version, which is GA4, to your Etsy account. The data it shows you is a lot more accurate and more detailed as well than your Etsy dashboard will show you, um, which sometimes malfunctions. So here is my analytics account. On the homepage, you can see the number of users that have interacted with my Etsy product pages in the past 28 days. We can change the time frame as well to get a better idea of the trends over a longer or shorter period of time. We can also see that in the last uh, 30 minutes, four people from different countries have looked at one of my products, which is pretty cool. Here we can see where most shoppers are coming from. For example, you can see most of my potential customers are from the US. So that was a big reason as to why I'm offering free shipping for US, uh, but not other countries. Here, this is very useful as well because you can see uh, which product pages of yours are the most popular. And then you can upload listings with the same keywords and uh, you can see how people are finding your shop. You can also get reports about your traffic, including any unexpected spikes or dips. Uh, unfortunately, the conversions and revenue tracking doesn't work, but you can see that in your Etsy stats anyway. There's a lot more useful data you can find. Uh, you can play around with it and it will give you important insights. It will help you uh, know how to optimize. So start by searching for analytics.google.com which should bring you to this page and then click start measuring. You can name your account, your Etsy store or the name of your business. If you have multiple stores, click next. And then to create a property, you can call it your Etsy store name. Now this is telling you that Google analytics is now switching from the old version, which is called universal analytics to the new version, which is GA4. Next, you can answer some information about your business and then click next. So for business objectives, you can select generate leads, drive online sales, raise brand awareness and examine user behavior and then click create. You can find the terms for your country and read uh, the terms about how they collect data from you and then click I accept. Now to choose a platform, you click web and then type in www.etsy.com slash shop slash your Etsy shop name. So that should be your uh, URL that you can copy and paste. My shop is already connected and I don't want to reconnect anything. So I'll just type in Etsy's URL. And for your stream name, you can type in your shop name. And then you should see this pop up, which should give you a measurement ID starting with uh, G dash something. So copy and paste this ID, then log into your Etsy dashboard and go to settings options and then click on web analytics at the top you can copy and paste your web property id into this box and then click save it can take 48 hours for your data to show up so don't worry if you don't see anything immediately a reminder to sign up to my mailing list which will be linked down below i won't send you spam it's just so we can keep in touch if there's any sort of important news or my social media gets down for some reason and if you found this video helpful, drop me a like. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions, content suggestions, anything else. And I will see you in the next one.